Hi, this is an introduction to TMA SNA High Availability in Tuxedo 12C. First, we're going to provide an overview using several slides. And then we're going to provide a demonstration to give you an idea how the software works in real time. TMA SNA contains two components. The first component, SNA Gateway, is also called GWS NAX. The second component is called SNA CRM. They are both shown in red in this illustration. GWS NAX communicates to CRM via a TCP connection, which is called connection. CRM communicates to CICS via an SNA connection, which is called link. From here, we can see that CRM can support multiple connections and can support multiple links, which make high availability, like load balancing and failover, become possible. Here are some more CRM multiple connection support details. Several GW SNACSs connect to a single CRM. These GW SNACSs share a common configuration and hence offer a common set of services. This common configuration is provided by first connecting GW SNACS. High availability point one supports inbound load balancing. Inbound transaction means transactions from CICS to Oracle Tuxedo. High availability point two supports inbound failover. When one of the GW SNACSs is down, all requests from CICS can be handled by other GW SNACSs. High availability point three supports inbound transaction affinity. If more than one request is in the same CICS transaction scope, it is handled by the same GW SNACS. Here are some CRM multiple link support details. A single CRM connects to several mainframe regions. The regions are not only CICS regions, they can also be IMS regions or batch programs as well. High availability point one supports outbound load balance. Outbound transaction means transactions from Oracle Tuxedo to CICS. High availability point two supports outbound failover. When one of the CICS regions is down, all requests from Oracle Tuxedo can be handled by other CICS regions. High availability point three supports outbound transaction affinity. If more than one request is in the same Oracle Tuxedo transaction scope, it is handled by the same CICS. Here, we configure multiple links in the DM config file. On the left, there are two remote domains, two remote regions. In the middle, there are two SNA links which correspond to two remote domains. And on the right, we show how the same service is advertised by both remote domains. Let's start the demonstration. Here we see a Linux server for Oracle Tuxedo. It includes two Oracle Tuxedo domains, SIMP SNA and SIMP SNA2. An Oracle Tuxedo server called MirrorServe is deployed on both domains. This server advertises a service called Mirror for inbound transactions. Meanwhile, there is an Oracle Tuxedo client called 2UpperClient on both domains that is for 
outbound transactions. Here is a ZOS machine which includes two CICS regions called CICSE and CICSF. They both define a CICS server program called 2Upper VPLS for outbound transactions. At the same time, there is a CICS client program called Mira DTPC, which is for inbound transactions. Let's start the first Oracle Tuxedo domain. Now, let's start the second Oracle Tuxedo domain. The CRM monitor shows that there are two active links which connect to two CICS regions. Now, let's test some load balancing based on multiple links. Now, let's start an outbound transaction four times. We can take a look at the CRM monitor for output conversion statistics. Every CICS region process has two outbound transactions. Now let's take a look at load balancing based on multiple connections. All right, now let's start an inbound transaction four times from the first CICS region by using S3270. Let's take a look at the CRM monitor for input conversion statistics. You'll see that four inbound transactions come from the first link.
All right, now let's take a look at TM Admin PSR on the first Oracle Tuxedo domain so we can take a look at MirrorServe statistics. And now let's take a look at TM Admin PSR on the second Oracle Tuxedo domain so we can take a look at uh, mirror serve statistics as well. Every Oracle Tuxedo domain has two inbound transactions. Okay, now we're going to test failover based on multiple links. Now let's submit CRMLKOF2 to break up the second CICS region. When we check the CRM monitor for link status, we'll see that the second link is down. Now, we're going to start the outbound transactions again. Take a look at the CRM monitor for output conversion statistics. The remaining CICS regions process four outbound transactions. And finally, let's take a look at failover based on multiple connections. Let's shut down the second Oracle Tuxedo domain. Let's start the inbound transactions again. When we check the CRM monitor for input conversion statistics, we'll see that four inbound transactions come from the first link. Now let's take a look at TM Admin PSR on the remaining domain for mirror serve service statistics.
The remaining Oracle Tuxedo domain processes have four inbound transactions. Well, this is the end of our demo. Thank you for watching.